Try, Adapt, Learn. In this video, we are going to replace the rubber fuel line in the Ford 9N tractor project. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe now for more videos including DIY, maintenance, projects, and yard work. As seen, this is the fuel line from the fuel tank of the Ford 9N tractor. The tractor was said to have been working, but it's set for a year and we recently started it up. Considering that the fuel line is rubber and looks like it is leaking from the bottom of the fuel tank, I wanted to replace the rubber fuel line and try to see if I could stop the leak. First I set a fuel can with a funnel and paper towel to capture the fuel. Next I removed the fuel line from the carburetor. I then moved the fuel line into the funnel. As seen with gravity, the fuel had no problem exiting the fuel line. Once the fuel stopped flowing into the funnel, I removed the hardware and the fuel line from the fuel tank. I then separated the hardware from the fuel line. With the hardware separated, I then started to clean the hardware. I used brushes, carburetor cleaner, and even a pick tool. I started first by cleaning with the wire brush. I continued to clean the hardware with carburetor cleaner. I also used a pick tool to help remove some of the sediment and rust inside the fuel line hardware. I used pipe cleaning brushes to help clean the inside of the fuel line hardware. With the hardware cleaned, I applied aviation form a gasket to help seal the threads. I used this product previously when connecting fuel lines to older carburetors in past projects. I then began to reassemble the fuel line hardware. I cleaned the threads in the immediate area around the fuel tank where the hardware would be installed. I then reinstalled the hardware to the fuel tank. As seen from the bottom of the fuel tank, the fuel was likely leaking for a long time and moved toward the front of the engine. To help with this leak in preparation for a test run, I added even more aviation form a gasket. I then cut new fuel line and added a fuel shutoff valve. The fuel shutoff valve would be useful when the tractor is not in use or removing the fuel line in the future. A new inline fuel filter was also added to the fuel line. As previously installed, I added two different size fuel lines. Looking back, it would seem to be okay to have the same size fuel line throughout. Since this setup was not stock, it was likely different size fuel lines were installed due to the availability at the time of the previous installation. I then connected the fuel lines to the hardware. Although the form of gasket was messy, I would accept that if it would be able to stop the fuel leak. The fuel line was then connected to the carburetor. This carburetor may not be a stock carburetor. Rather than the Marvel Schebler, it is a Zenith. Also notice the turn knob for the fuel shutoff valve at the carburetor. Although this is not stock and rubber fuel line includes compromises, I felt more comfortable that this effort was worth it to stop the fuel leak at the bottom of the fuel tank. As I make new videos, I want to share them with you, so subscribe now. Also comment, like, and check out some of the other content on our channel.